21 years into the Mammoth football history and another first here tonight. Before a packed house at the MAC in the Multipurpose Activity Center, the number 80 jersey of Miles Austin was retired. Austin, who starred for Mammoth 2002 to 2005, won two conference championships and owned the record books, still has three single season records and several game records as well, all part of a very special night here at the MAC. twist and turns in your life you can go one direction or another and uh, it was just such a blessing for me personally to come to school here I'm uh, again humbled and uh, and uh, you know completely honored and happy uh, you know this this came about Another historic night in Mammoth football and Mammoth athletic history here. Miles Austin having his number 80 retired. You know, it seems maybe like uh, so long ago for you, but before you were dodging safeties and running away from corners at the NFL level wearing 19, it was number 80 that yeah. really got you the uh, accolade that you earned tonight. Uh, just tell us a little bit, you know, when you first found out that Mammoth was going to do this, how you feel? Uh, you know, uh, overwhelmed, you know, excited and uh, a little bit nervous because I was hoping that no one would give me, ha have ask me any questions or have me go up there and say anything in front of anybody because uh, I'm not the best at public speaking, uh, unlike some of us, you know. <laughs> 
but uh you know over you know more than anything i was just uh excited and uh humbled humbled and uh feeling really grateful that, th that they'd be able to think of me and uh do something like that you know i was excited to to enjoy it with some of my friends and family and you know just excited about the overall night when you think back, Miles, at your experience here at Monmouth, you know, you played for two conference champions, um, dominated the record books for a long time. Many of those records you still have. As you look back at it, what, what's maybe one or two things that you really, really remember about your time here? Uh, just the uh, relationships built, you know, that, was, that would be the first thing. You know, so many guys I'm still friends with, you know, just so many just, just class act, great guys, uh, that just go to war with you, you know, you, you, you're working out with them, you're grinding with them, you know, you got your ups and your downs and just still can stick together as a group of guys. And, uh, you know, being in there and seeing them, uh, I would say would be the one thing. And uh, what would be the other thing that I really remember? Uh, just the games, just the overall way the seasons went. You know, my first year here, we were 2-8. and eight, And then... Uh, we got our act together. I think losing those games originally and, and kind of coming together as a group and saying, we're not going to have this happen again. And then uh, winning two championships in a row after that. And then uh, senior year, I wish we could have won another one, but then they won another one the year after I left. So uh, just the, that, that just shows you the, the, the type of guys that, that we have here that just go in and continue to fight and, and won't be held down. You know, you might have a down year, a down game, but they're not going to keep you down for, for a long time. I know in your press conference you talked about your relationship with Coach Callahan and how important that was uh, to you and just the development of, of you maybe making that next step and being prepared to go to the NFL. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. Like, I, like I was saying down there, he was, you know, basically uh, had everyone on a schedule. He had everyone wearing suits to and from games. Uh, he just had us working on a professional level, even though we were collegiate athletes. And uh, getting that type of experience early, you're not shocked at it w when you get to that level later, you know. And uh, there's other times, you know, when, uh, you know, you got to go in. We got morning running, regardless of what it is. He's always going to be there on time. We're always going to have to do it. There was no, you know, whatever he said we were going to do is what we were going to do. And uh, when you got a head coach who's accountable, uh, to the team like that, you're going to be successful. Along with the head coach, Kevin Callahan, Matt Harmon on Hawk Vision, talking about Miles Austin's retirement ceremony of his number 80 jersey. Coach, you can think back to the years that he was here, two conference championships, just how much he meant to this football program. Well, Miles meant so much not only to the football program, but to Monmouth University in general. He's such a great ambassador for our football program, for the university, and it was just only, only fitting that we would retire his jersey. He accomplished so much when he was here, and then once he left here and went on to the, the National Football League, uh, that I just thought it was the, the right thing to do. This is something that's been in the works now for a couple of years. It was all a matter of getting the right date when we could get all the parties together. But it turned out to be a, a great night here in front of all the fans that saw Miles uh, play when he was in, uh, out here on Kessler Field. It really does talk about the fact, you know, just this past year, Dan Sabella into the Hall of Fame. Now a number is being retired. 21 years in, you know, the Mammoth football history timeline now starts to have those really special accomplishments uh, continue to, to build on. It, it, it does, Matt, and I think we're going to have many, many more as we move forward. You know, this is the first jersey that we, we have retired. There's going to be more to come. We're going to have more players entering into the Hall of Fame here in the coming years, and it's a really exciting time. And when you combine that with where we're going as a program in terms of joining the Big South and playing FBS opponents here in the upcoming years, uh, it's all good things that are happening. Coach, you know, Miles has been so important to the program since he graduated, coming back every year, spending time with the players. Uh, he has never forgotten where he's come from. He has, and, and, and Miles is uh, just a, a terrific person. And as you can see tonight when he's here, he doesn't turn anyone down for an autograph. He'll take a picture with anyone with a camera. He comes back every summer and spends two weeks here with our players, helping them per, uh, perfect their techniques, especially the receivers and the defensive backs. And he's just always looking to give back. Coach, so much. Uh, thanks so much for the time. Appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of the night. Thanks, Matt. It's a great night. Miles Austin, retirement jersey, along with the head coach, Kevin Callam. I'm Matt Harmon on Hawk Vision.
Tons of support on this night, recognizing Miles Austin and the retirement of the number 80 jersey he wore in the four years here at Monmouth. We were able to catch up with several of Miles' teammates about his play and their time together. Having him come back is awesome. Uh, there's so many guys who take so much pride in the success he's had. Uh, he's a great representation of us, of our program. He's a great, A1A, he's a great, he's a great person. We, we were playing down in the South in Philadelphia, and uh, it's right before the half time, right before half, and we threw the ball to him, probably 45 yards out. He jumps up with four guys on him, catches a touchdown. I think we're winning 28 nothing at this point, and uh, bringing that back is just showing Miles was a lot better than the talent we were playing. So that's my fondest memory is Miles. I was fortunate enough to have him at in Garfield, where I lived in Fairlawn, so we trained a lot in the offseason together, worked a lot, so I got to know him pretty well, and I'm proud to say he's a good friend of mine. And uh, his sophomore year, he actually lived in a house with us off campus. And we had a pretty good bond there with other wide receivers like Billy Wolfolk. And um, you know what? It's just a great experience with him. He deserves everything he's got over here in the NFL. Um, you know, the best thing about Miles Austin is he's a guy that you cheer for. He's a guy that you root for. You know, he's not this confident, um, swagger, cocky kind of guy. You know, his confidence is something that people rally behind. Having someone like Miles was pretty easy to play with. He's big, fast, and uh, you go up and get it. You knew that it was a comfort, level comfort, little room for mistake as a quarterback and uh, you knew his potential when he was young and obviously you see what he's become. Congratulations Miles. Starting we uh, came in the same recruiting class uh, with Miles. Um, right from the beginning you could tell he was something special. Uh, he was really men amongst boys uh, in the NEC. Anytime uh, you get the ball in his hands he could really just take advantage of uh, uh, deep balls, short, you know he, at the time he was so strong. Um, he really just could take advantage of the game or take over the game for that matter and just, uh, you know, play above everyone else. So, yeah, having Miles from the very beginning, he just knew that it was going to be something special. And, you know, he made the most of his opportunities and he's had a great career in the NFL. Playing defense, it gave us a lot of, took a lot of pressure off of us. Just knowing that Miles was out there, I mean, we had great offense. Miles could change a game any time. I mean, he could go deep, he could go over the middle, he could score a touchdown on any play. So we had a lot of pressure taken off of us that we could play a lot quicker and faster and get to the ball. There have been great players who came before Miles Austin. There were great players when Miles was here, and there have been great players since he has graduated. But certainly, as evidenced tonight by the reception that he got, the crowd here in West Long Branch and the Mammoth fan base has never forgotten the number 80 and the play of Miles Austin. Wrapping up our coverage of the retirement ceremony of Miles Austin, I'm Matt Harmon on Hawk Vision.